Hi everybody, Heidi you, the Yorkshire Crafter. How are you? I hope you're well, as always. Um, thank you for joining me. I really, 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 really appreciate it. I have to say. Um, I don't always ask, but I'm going to ask. I don't know what's going on with my videos, or if they're not getting seen, if nobody's getting notifications. But the last few, um, it just seems like nobody... Is that bothered about seeing them? And I know that's in my head, but I just wondered if people weren't getting notifications. So I'm just going to ask if you can share, um, whether it be to your friends and family or Facebook or... Um, I'm still trying with Pinterest, I'm still trying with Instagram. Um, half of the time with Instagram I forget, and half of the time with Pinterest I don't know what I'm doing. I've no idea so if you could help me out that way I really would appreciate it thank you very 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 much right so on a couple of my last videos I've been doing a bit of ink blending and I've really really missed it so it's what I used to do on nearly all my cards so today I'm doing some ink blending I don't have a clue what stamps we're putting on so this is what i've got out i'm not going to go through all names if you want to know just ask me i will probably use the leaf spray oh that's that i wonder where that was yeah the leaf spray um possibly use these two i'm ju just literally blending and silhouette stamping it's so easy my my problem is getting the silhouettes um, you know, not so they're all stuck together and squashed in and so I did think about using this one but I think it could be too low for what I want to do. Still keep it out. Could possibly use this one. I can't call that gypsum is it? Jip. Excuse me, I've just had a drink of pop. Um, possibly use these. I will definitely use this and this, this, this is all foliage, that's if you can see them, I definitely want to do some kind of dandelion, did I ever get them ones out, oh I didn't get the other dandelions out, so I'm guessing it's that one, um, the wildflower, yes, oh, oh I know, I've got some over this side, I'll just quickly grab them because I I've got the blue balance stuff and the other dandelions and then we'll crack on. I'll just grab them so I've got them near. This is because I have other projects going on and I put, oh yeah, I've got a load down here as well. Oh, oh that's all my steampunk stuff I got out again. So I probably won't use these because you're not going to see them. You're not likely to see any of them. That could be a possible on its own. But I seem to have used it a lot lately. You're not going to see these. And I'm going to do something with these little ones. Ah, oh, there they are. Yeah, might get a use out of this one, I think, today. Ah, here we go. These are what I want. That's in the wrong place anyway. I've just seen a ticket for that. And some more dandelions. That's dead pretty, that one. I like this as well. And you heard the English bluebell because I had it sent to me. Um, yeah, just possibly that one. Right, so that's going to be the hardest bit. So I'll just put them all up the side and we'll start with some blending. So... I'm going to start with, I've been messing, just try to get some colours together, what I like. So, I just want to, oh yeah, you got this will give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Because I'm not 100% sure what's on these brushes. There you go, that's what that's going to look like. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I'm going to use these three first anyway. Actually, I might have got that wrong. Oh no, that's going to be the other one. We're having a pink. 
and a lighter pink and a purple so you've got them colours and then we're just going must be just blue and blue because that's the only brushes I've left out blue and blue right let's get cracking so we are using candied apple can you see them there I'll move the others out of the way so nothing's going to get marked candied apple um, carved pumpkin and wild honey that is our start so I'm going to start with the wild honey I also I need to start using my inks anyway because my brushes I do not want to put them in the machine but they've all gone a tad funny again I've cut these out just for speed but normally I wouldn't because you get this thick line round and normally I'll trim that off um, when I've cut them down but just for speed I've cut them down now then looking at this I don't think this is the colour that I wanted Come up a bit further. I do love blending. I could possibly have gone for a different orange there. Uh, yellow, sorry. Right, we're going to come in with the carved pumpkin. It'll probably look alright. In fact, it doesn't have a choice. Yeah, it's blending lovely there. See, my other option to that would have been mustard seed. Oh, oh, it's gone off on there. Oh. Making sure it's got the right thing on there. It doesn't even have the name. Is this not a genuine thing? I'll leave that out. I'll have a look at that after. It's That is the colour I wanted. Look at that. Yeah, that's the colour I wanted. Shall we start it again? That's not even coming off. That's weird, is that um, ink? But I want to use it. I'm just gonna on a spare piece. That's watercolour. Let me just get another piece. Now then, this is not cut down, but I do want to try that. Even though it's like that, if I brush it in. See what it comes out like. I'm just gonna clean it off again because it's got that um, wild honey underneath it. That's the colour I wanted. I think. still very bitty and I don't know if that's because of the bits that were on it let's try the orange on this one that's definitely what I wanted I'll just have to cut this one down before we stamp because I don't want to stamp and then I have to cut a load of it off edges oh look at that that's lovely oh I love blending I'm using Nina Classic Crest 110 pound white. Look how that's blended in, isn't that just stunning? Oh, my problem is I don't know when to stop. And we've got things to do, so I'm going to stop. 
I'll start putting my brushes away as we use them and then they're done. Yeah, definitely mustard seed. Will not go to waste, it'll get used because I'll just stamp on the bottom and you won't really see it anyway. And we're using candied apple. I mean, you could go for just a plain yellow if you want, but it's just it's too much for the other colours, I think, then. Look at that. Oh, I do miss it. Back in just to blend it together. Just look at that. You can't go wrong, can you? It looks like that's not blended, but honestly, it really has. The blending's beautiful, even if I dare say so myself. What's that eye? Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to bother it anymore. That's done. And to give it time to dry, I'm going to splatter it now. So I've got a little hard splatter brush. Where is it hard? I'll use a soft one. I'll put a bit of water on here because I'm going to clean it off anyway. Want a couple of bigger jobs, so I'll just put that in my end. It's better. This is done. I am just going to move that behind. Yes, I like that. Don't waste it. Pick it all up. I'm not going to do it, but I'll just show you what I mean. You get some beautiful backgrounds. Just splash the water down and pick it up. Just look what you've got from that. I mean, that would even do what we're going to do now. There you go. Look how cool that is. Only don't use Nina because it doesn't like water. So I've just moved that to the side. That was just to show you anyway. I need some new kitchen towel up here. Right, that's done. And with the next piece, we're going to use the, we'll use the pinks. So we've got wilted violet. Now then, I wasn't 100% on these or the blues, so we're 100% sure where I want to go with the blending. So we've got spun sugar, picked raspberry, and wilted violet. We're doing exactly the same thing. I've already wiped these brushes down, so hopefully it should be enough. Yeah, that's not coming as... I didn't get enough ink off this because I used it for a darker one first. Look how dark that is there. Like I say, when you're going to be doing them, um, don't come down till after. It, honestly, it, it, it stops all your... stops you going as dark, if you like, because I'm trying to match it up now. So we'll come in with a bit of the picked raspberry. Always start off your paper, otherwise you'll end up with horrible marks. And they're not as easy to disguise, although when you do the water splatter, you'd be surprised what that hides. 
coming back in with the sponge sugar just to go across that line there you go perfectly blended I just love it mate I love blending do a little bit more here before I bring in the purple There, you see, I weren't sure about these two blending, but it's blended all right. Now, I didn't know this was going to be too dark, so we'll see. Dee, 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 dee. Well, guess what happened last night? I went for a wee at four o'clock. And thought one of the dogs had had an accident in the bathroom and they never ever mess in the house ever which just doesn't happen so I was a bit worried and then I thought well Andy went that long ago I wonder if he's missed pot never happened ever see I was not keen on that um so I normally got to the toilet without light on so I put light on guess what my boiler's leaking so, in my head, after blaming Andy and dogs, I sort of apologise, but not openly. Um, yeah, so my... Well, we thought my boiler was leaking, so I got Andy up and we... Don't know why I got him up, and the one that looks at stuff like that. Um, see, I'm not a massive fan of that. Hmm. Don't know what I think of that. Um, yeah, and... I went downstairs and switched heating on because I don't have it on during the night. I never, ever, ever have the heating on my bedroom, but it's on right now. So I put the heating on and went back to bed, put a bucket where it was dripping, went back to bed, got this morning and it's not, it didn't do another drop. So I put it down to that. But then we looked at the trough in at four o'clock and we couldn't see anything. Just wondered if it was coming down the wall and coming in. Couldn't see anything. I'm just going to splatter these again. Um, so I've had a look now. And I'm possibly going to need a new trough in. So I'm going to get some better look at it. I don't know if that was the cause. If it came down the wall and came in. Because that boiler is not leaking then you wouldn't have known it were leaking. So I just don't know. There you go, got some good splatters on that one. Again, why have I used Nina? It's not very good with water. Right, this time I'm just picking this up. There it is, been looking for me. I don't think Unless, unless we've got time, I don't think I'm putting sentiments on these because I don't know right now what I'll be using them for because these could be sympathy cards, they could be thank you, they could be they could be anything, but I don't want to do any sympathy cards because I just don't ever want to do them. So, I mean, I could leave them empty. I've got loads of sympathy cards done anyway, but I'd rather not. Right. So here yeah, we've got tumble glass, salty ocean, and we're either going to use blueprint sketch or prize ribbon. I think it was a prize ribbon. We'll take the blueprint sketch out. I'm not sure if it was too dark. I can't remember. So I don't know why I've only got... That's why, because that's me. Dark blue. Right, let's go for some... Blueprint sketch. No, it isn't at all. Tumble glass. See, it's still going on darker than what it should. I think my brushes, as much as I don't want to do it, I think they're definitely going to have to have some kind of clean. Because I've used them for the blue family, I've sometimes gone in with a bit of a darker one than I should. I don't look too bad. I don't look too bad at all. So that's tumble glass. This is 
salty ocean. Gosh, that looks the same colour to me. That's probably what we're on that other one then. That's the problem when you just use them for a colour family. It's coming in a bit darker now. Yeah, I think the tumble glass has gone on too dark. And it's not far off from this one. I do need to move it up a bit further. Even though that looks really wet, I think it's quite dry. Oh, this brush is no good, one October. Gosh, because I've put eating on all through house. Andy wants me to leave it on now, continuously. And I don't, I just, I have it go off during night and then come on like six o'clock in the morning, five o'clock. Um, don't know which one of these I want to put in. I don't know if that's going to be too dark. Let's have a look. Possibly, yeah. Right, change of mind. I'm going to come in with the blueprint sketch now then. No, I don't have another blue, so I'm going to have to up. Right. Uh, yeah, because he wants eating on all over. Um, and I don't have it come on till six. I'm absolutely melting. And we've got the log burner. That's not working, is it? <sighs> yeah, we've got the log burner. So you put that on when you come down because it's cold when you come down. And then he wants eating on. Mind you, I suppose I wouldn't have to be used log burner, would I have eaten my old time? I don't like that blue with that. But we're going with it. It'll blend nice, actually. That's better now it's blending in. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah. Let's go back where... Have I got these mixed up again? Oh, dear. Do you know, half the time I'm talking to you, I forget what I'm talking about. I'm so old. Oh, that's blended beautiful. Let's see if I can get this bit, bottom bit to blend better. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Well. I can hardly see the seam in that bit there. God, that came out right Yorkshire did that then. <laughs> Does that look that's where I'm from, doesn't it? Bone and bread is this, eh? Right, I'm going to leave that before I take it to a different extreme. So you've seen all the colours I'm using. The hardest bit for me is now is choosing the stamps. I'm just putting these brushes away so it's out of way. That's it. I'll put them behind me. There we go. I'll just give this a I think this is gonna be my favourite, you know. Sorry if you've got, got off camera. wonder why the red didn't pick it up like that. These last two have picked it up fantastic. Oh, I love that. Right. Well, I think this definitely needs to go and wash, doesn't it? That's what I do with my old towels. And if I run out of cloths up here, it's a good excuse to buy new towels so I can have the other ones for my old towels. Mm hmm Method in my madness. Done. Right, I know somebody asked about this the other day, asking me if it's worth it because it's expensive. Um, my answer was... For me, 100% worth it. I've got five stamping platforms. 
and there's not one that can beat this. It's just all, all the others, I just cannot get them to line up ever. Right, but this one, it just does it for you anyway. I'm just going to give these a blast because not one of them's dry. And because you've used oxide, I mean, we're not using embossing powder, so that's okay. Because then it would have to be perfectly dry. But they're very chalky. So sometimes it's hard to get a full stamp on them without seeing the chalk through it. But seeing as though we're on a silhouette stamping and every stamp's going to look the same, it should be absolutely fine. See what I mean? And if you're not very good at, if you say you're not very good, I don't believe people are good because it's just, when you're splattering it like that, it, to me it's like nothing could go wrong. It covers everything up. I mean, I tell people not to put themselves down, um, but I do it constantly. I know I do. It's like now me, me asking you to share the videos because I think there's something wrong. Am I doing something wrong with my videos? Is there a reason why people are watching them? Do they not like them? Do people not want to watch me anymore? So that's where my head goes with it. So I do understand when people say that they, they think they're not good enough. Yeah, I totally get it. That's my favourite. And it's the one that I wasn't going to do. And absolutely love it. Right, stamps. Huh. I had another ink pen out there. Maybe I was supposed to use that. Right, so first of all. Eh, da, da, da. I'm going to cut this down. Because otherwise I'm going to stamp onto ends and it's going to get cut off and you won't see it. So I'm just going to run it through. With the small part of my master layout. I swear by these, you'll see me use these on nearly every single video I do. The master layouts. If you're in the UK, pardon me, get them from Bumbleberries online. Yeah, I'm just going to literally run that through my dad cut machine. You could do it with a cutter if you want. You could do it with a cutter and if you did, Sometimes I get marks on like the circle there from what I've been previously die cutting, which is on my plates. But it gives it a like a curved edge to the card all the way around, and that's what I love about it. That's why I do them. I'll leave that there. Right, let's dig at some stamps. Oh, I really don't know where to go, honestly. Let's pick a first stamp and let's go with a bit of leafy spray. I've no idea where this is going, I don't know what I'm doing. I want to leave a bit of blank up here, so if I'm going to put a sentiment on. I got some little strips out just to see if I were going to put some at somewhere. Don't matter that it's white in my hand, it would be black. But if I was going to put it here, would it be okay over the, you know, the stamping? So, actually, do you know what? I'm just going to put a few on the bed and see where it goes. Then I'm not having a route round. That's the bluebell. This is the open dandelion. might not even use much more than that. Um, get that one out. Get one of these dandelions out. One that can bend. Right, can't use them. 
What we're using out of these. Right. Definitely going to use the wildflower and I don't know what they call, but the big grass and the little grass. It's even the little grass are in the wrong place. Right, let's stamp a little of something. So let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go down the lane. And let's... Do you know what? Yeah, I do want that at the bottom. I want to cover that up a bit. I didn't like it. All stamping will be done in Nocturne. I think that's all right there. We'll probably need a couple of those with it being oxide. And get my Scooby tool out. Yeah, I'll just give them a double stamping each time then. But it, it looks pretty good, does that? This is me, what they call it that I found, but when you leave them, they go hard. So I'm just going to give it a quick spray and bin to wet it up because it's easier with stamps. Two seconds. As far as I know, you can leave them in a, a little tub when they stay damp but I don't see it's gone that's it that's how I need it I'll put a little bit more on so there we go done again I'm just going to put it in front of me I'll probably use the same stamps for all three just in different places I'm now going to bring in the actually I think I'll make it the dandelion the show of that one the wildflower on there and the bluebell. Oh, the bluebell on the blue. That's what I'm going to do. So now it's just a case of putting a bit of doodah on. So I'm going to go with the. It's summit grass. I can't remember what it's called. What am I doing? I'm tempted just to. Um, more the big ones I'm bothered about. I'm not bothered about these being. Do you know what I mean? Let's do it. See how it works on one. See, that's fine, isn't it? Might get away with it here. That's an issue. Touch in there, I need to do it further up. See, that covers most of it already. There's not a lot to do on it. You could even go in, put your little circle in. In fact, I might do it. Mask it and go around it with a bit of colour. Let's take that one off. Let's put... Oh, we're going with dandelion, aren't we? Right, I'm risking this. Please stamp.
I think this one I will probably do some gold splatter on it. So I could do a sentiment here in embossing gold. Oh, yeah, I like that there. I'm going to put another one at this side. But I want first generation, definitely. What I'll do with others, I'll stamp the main bit and then I'll take it out of this. Right, what else do we want to put in it? Um, should put a little dandelion. Let's tell you what, I need to take it out. Tell you what we'll do. We'll do the main stamp and then we'll take it out. And put this away because it's going to get in my way. But I hundred percent want to double stamp the main one. I might. Oh yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll show you in a minute. Then. Yeah, you see that definitely needed. A double stamping and I would never have brought it back on top see look how quick it is to get it back on it using one that folds the stamping platform I'm forever moving it because it just never goes back in the right place that's perfect out you come kid I mean you only need to put one flower in if you want depends how um, What's the word? Clean and simple you want it. I know it's not clean and simple because we've gone multicolour and a full whack of it, but I think this is the stamp that I had sent from Terry in Florida. So if it is Terry, this is its first outing. So thank you. Oh, I've stamped it wrong way around. I want to put the dark at the bottom. You don't care. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It will still look absolutely fine. Actually, it's probably work out better. Well, that's just beautiful, isn't it? Right, let's get rid of the stamping platform. Where's my paper? Let's see you outside, isn't Yeah, I'm thinking I might, I was said I was going to splatter with gold, but I might actually splatter with, um, I'm going to go second generation for this, I think. I might splatter with black. What do you think? I don't know if this is going to work as second generation, but what will it look like? It will be fine. Didn't even pick it up at middle, did it? Oh well, you know what? Let's have it there. Fine. Ooh, that's there. I sometimes think silhouette stamping is harder than doing a big scene because you've nowhere to hide at all. I love that. In fact, apart from down here, I don't know if it needs out else. What do you think, guys? 
I don't think it's going to be my favourite. Well, there's no winner so far. Let's put in a little bit of this one. What have we got? What have we got? Yeah, I don't want to go up now, so... <clears throat> See, so yeah, I've literally just gone over everything. I don't know what I think of it. I really don't. Does some of that want to come round here? No. Nope. I'm going to leave that. It's not my favourite at all. But you don't know what you've put your splatter on. For me, that's when it all changes. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll straight away get the backing on. We're all having a black backing. Now I sort of wish I'd come round a bit with the red. Where's the red brush? I put it away, didn't I? a red brush yes no idea what colours on it but it's got red on it I might end up doing that with all of them if I don't come in with a bit of dark on bottom so that also I'm not going to form it which I do on everything. Right, that will be it, but I'm going to put some gold splatters on it. Definitely going gold. So that's number one. Let's try and step it up a bit because hmm, let's have a look what we've got. So, what have we got? We've got this large one. I think that's going to go on there. What I don't know what I want to do is do I want to do second generation or first? Let's have a look. Well, I think that's going to look nice on both with them being flowery. Let's have a look. I'm going to go right to the top with this one. I think that's lovely. for a minute let's have a look If I'm putting gold on this, I don't know if it's going gold or silver, but that might be what I put in the middle of that flower. I don't really want to put out in it. I want to leave everything black if I can. And I want to leave space for... Sentiment. Quite like that. See, actually, I might only need to use a few stamps. And it'd be done. Let's use a small one of this.
those days. It needs summer. It definitely needs summer. Now then. I don't know what else to put in because I think they look really good. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, sorry, a headbutt camera. I'm going to try and make that look like it's taller than what it is. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. I'll put it up behind this as well. Yes. I think that could be it. Let's have Why do I feel like this needs something darker? Both of them, but then again, I like the focal point of the dark stamp. But you see, this one has a few in, doesn't it? I love them though. I love this stamp, this is lovely. But I think what I'm gonna do is come in dark on bottoms. And then, like I said, it would probably be a black sentiment I'll use anyway. Oh, here we go. Some building work going on next door. Let's just push that to the side a minute. Let's do some splatter. Just have a look on the thing in front of me. What a circle. I mean, it'd probably work on this one. I don't know what colour you'd use. Let's go with. I don't think I want to use that red, do I? I'm thinking maybe more of a, a grey. Although that looks greyish. Let's just go with it. Because if I don't like it, I can always do it in grey cat. Don't even think it's done out. Hmm, it has. Yeah, it's probably just enough an hour actually. See that looks fine. Look what a difference that makes to that. Straight away, I love it. Definitely going gold. Where's my gold? I'll get my gold out. And my other two, I'm going to go silver. 
הוא עושה פה האק. וייט. Let's do them different. Right, let's just get a little bit of this out. Mix it up. I just mix it till bits have gone. I'm actually going to flick it off onto it, so let's move that out of the way. Oh, I don't know if that's a little bit too much. But it's getting what it's getting. It's here, I want it. Try to get it there and not get it anywhere. That looks fine. I'm happy with that. That one's gone to the side. Clean this off. Well, that little bit of gold went everywhere. Well, now silver, I only have silver acrylic. Just find that. This is metallic silver. I mean, I can use all my. My glitters and my stickles and my micas and all that lot, but I wanted something different. I don't even know if this will work. Will it still be metallic when it's... Yeah, of course it is. Rosie under my feet. So we're not um only thing I could do here is put that over but then I don't want to use that. I'm gonna say I could do a white glow behind it. Um I don't have a circle cut out big enough. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm hoping that this won't contaminate me white. This is white pan pastel. If I just put a line around it, I could probably jack it out with me and then. I don't want to pull the red off the circle what I've just used. And rather than not cut another one right now, let's just see what happens here. Right, let's just see what happens. It's not even central. Dunk. Nah, it seemed a bit pointless, really. Yeah, it seemed a bit pointless. It looks like a coffee stain. So the only other thing would be to... Bring it out but personally I do it in a dark colour don't do it in a light I'm gonna have to go with it but I think I might put it back on and just pull a tiny bit of blue through it then I 
I'd already committed, so I didn't have much of a choice. Let's have a look now. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's not horrible. It just seems a bit... Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, I can't even get lid on. Oh, I can't get lid on. I think I'm losing it now. I'm getting a bit fed up because it's not working, is it? Where's my little grey one? Just get my grey ink pad and it'll do it then. What colour's that? Oh, there you go. Just a little bit to go into that white and it should look different then. These dogs are getting restless. I'm gonna go and see if I can catch them builders next door. See if they can whack me a new chuffing up. As long as it's not expensive. Tell you what colour I should have used. I mean, I still might yet. So I'm going to come down bottom with um, Twilight and that would look nice coming off the moon. Let's see what that's done. It's giving that what I wanted it to give, so that's okay. There was no need for it really, you didn't need it on. I didn't even do it down this bit. And I can see it, so that will annoy me. Yeah, if I was to do it again, I wouldn't even put this on. The moon. The moon, it's not even a moon. But I can see it now. So that's that. If I'm being honest, it spoilt that for me a little bit. Still a nice car. We'll get the silver on. Before it dries, because I forgot about it. All right, please go on, okay. Let's try it like this first. Yeah. It's rosy coming between my legs. Oh, it's a nice silver, is that? Look at that. See, it just changes it completely. Look how nice that is. I hope you can see all that. That's just beautiful. I forgot to put my twilight on, so I'll be doing that as well. So I'm going to go anyway, but before I stick them down, I'm going to put silver on this. I think it's lovely. And then I will put them on the bases, so they'll look exactly the same as the other one. See also, if you don't like what you've done, and you put this on it, I just think that's beautiful. There's one thing about it, I'll be using that silver again. Only need a tiny drop. I think they're about 4 99 I pay for them. This is the Deco Art Metallic Shimmering Silver. Beautiful. So guys, I'm going to get out of your way. I'm just going to show you how these are going to look. That's going to go on the black base there with the white card base. So you've got one, you've got two. 
Oh, I just love that silver. I absolutely love it. I'm glad I picked that. That wouldn't have been out with silver. It had to have gold. Three. And there's your cards. I hope you like them. And it literally... The hardest part is choosing your stamps. It really is. But I'm more than happy with that. So I'm going to go to see these doggies. And I'll catch you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.